Welcome to Worship Tutorials. You have just been hearing the beautiful sounds of this carbon fiber sable uh, acoustic guitar from McPherson. In this video, we're going to revisit this line of guitars. We have done reviews of the McPherson carbon guitars before. Those are all linked below. So this video is going to act as sort of a refresher and a long-term review because we've had the original carbon fiber sable for about four years now, and it has been used extensively uh, between us here at Worship Tutorials. Uh, this represents uh, what you would currently get if you purchase one of these guitars from McPherson. Uh, there have been a few cosmetic changes to the line uh, lately. You'll notice the headstock looks a bit different. The tuners are blacked out, which I really think is cool. This is the standard uh, carbon top that you can get. They have a lot of options as far as what you can get for tops. All of that linked below uh, from McPherson's website. We're also gonna show you in this video the Touring Carbon Fiber Guitar, which is like a three quarter size guitar. And uh, it kind of blows our minds every time we play it because it does not sound like a small three quarter size guitar. If you have preconceived notions about what a carbon uh, fiber guitar sounds like, this thing is completely made out of carbon fiber. Um, if you don't think they can sound as good as a wood guitar, hopefully this video is gonna change your mind because I'm here to tell you, these guitars sound amazing. I've done actually a lot of traveling with the, uh, not this carbon fiber sable, but the other one that we've had for years now. They make great travel guitars. So, you know, most uh, acoustic guitars are made out of wood and wood is an organic substance and it breathes and moves and you know if the temperature changes it it moves if the humidity changes it moves around it can develop cracks you got to constantly measure and adjust the truss rod to keep it sort of in good shape all of that stuff is eliminated with a carbon fiber guitar because carbon fiber is not going to move ever this thing can be at extreme temperatures humidity levels and it's going to stay exactly the same, it makes for a great uh, guitar to travel with because it's just so durable. One particular example that, that I remember a few years back, I traveled to Hillsborough, Kansas to my alma mater Tabor College for an event there. And I needed a guitar because I was gonna lead some worship. So I brought the carbon fiber sable with me and I didn't even think about it. I checked it, put it in the case, checked it. I didn't worry whether the, you know, whether TSA was gonna drop it and the headstock was gonna break. They could have dropped it. It would have been just fine. Who knows, maybe they did. Uh, but I pulled it off, you know, I grabbed it from the checked luggage. I put it in the trunk of my car and then I drove to call, drove to Tabor there in Hillsborough and I parked the car out in the midday sun in the middle of summer, it's like 90 some degrees. And I left the guitar in the car for a few hours and then, I, and then I remembered there's a guitar in the trunk of my car and it's baking out there. So I went and grabbed it, pulled it out. Um, it was hot to the touch, but you know, I strummed it and the thing was in tune. My friend who was with me was just like, how is that guitar still even intact? So that is what you get though with the carbon fiber sable from McPherson. You get that durability, that ease of mind, especially if you're gonna travel a lot with it or just kind of leave it out in a room where the humidity and temperature changes a lot. You don't even have to worry about it. There's not even a truss rod in here. It doesn't need it. The neck is not gonna move. Uh, but the added benefit with this one is that it sounds amazing as well. In this next clip, you're gonna hear uh, an example of this guitar. We're miking it in this clip. You're also gonna hear them direct in this video. We're miking these guitars with a Telefunken TF-51 microphone through a Universal Audio LA-610 preamp. We feel like it gives you a very good representation of what this guitar sounds like in the room and if you were gonna use it for recording. Check it out. <laughs>
So a lot of times when we get reviews, we don't get to spend a lot of time with the instrument. Fortunately for me, I've had this guitar for over a few years now, and I've had a really great time in the studio using it, hearing the intricacies of it. When you first hear about a, fi a carbon fiber guitar, you kind of think uh, there's no way that can sound as good as a wood guitar, but I have discovered over the last couple years, this sounds as good, if not better, than most of the wood guitars I've ever played. This has been my main guitar in the studio. I do produce music for television, and I've done a lot of acoustic albums over the last couple years. This is my go-to. This is the only guitar I use because the intonation is flawless. The, the tone that you get from miking this guitar in a room is just, it's absolutely stellar. When you do mic it in a room, if you use a, a close mic and a far mic, if you close your eyes, you would never think that this guitar is not made out of wood because it, it just sounds so amazing as you've heard in some of these playing samples that we've done. So using this guitar in the studio, I've had the privilege of doing a lot of different genres of music, folk, acoustic, alternative. Uh, some of the music is finger picking, open tuning. Some of it is chordal rhythmic stuff. It all sounds really good, but I do think the McPherson shines in open tunings and finger uh, style music, which you're gonna hear in this next clip. So this is the new McPherson ukulele model. I'm just kidding. Um, there's actually there's a running joke on our channel about how whenever I play a guitar, it always looks small. And so to play into that joke, I wanted to be able to utilize the touring model. But this thing actually is no joke. Like, <laughs> I like parlor guitars or smaller body guitars. I really like that. I have a Martin Triple O, and it just there's a different kind of vibe with those. You know, you got bigger body guitars. I do have a wood guitar uh, from McPherson, and they just they have this sound. Uh, but when you play something a little smaller, it's fun. But this thing does not really lose any of that size just because it's smaller. Um, it's named the touring, so it's great for traveling. If you are going on tour and you need to keep things small, you could totally grab one of these. Playing wise, it does make things a little easier. There's some John Mayer stuff that I, I can't get those reaches on a normal guitar and I got big hands. So that's helpful, that's great, but you're still getting that tone. You're, it sounds very, very similar to what the bigger body carbon fiber from McFears and even the wood guitar sound like. So in this clip, you're just gonna hear it mic'd up so you can kind of get a little idea of what it sounds like. So, so far you've been hearing all mic'd up samples. The idea with that is just so you can get a more true to form sound of 
how these sounds when they're in the room with you when they're mic'd up. Absolutely, when you process them and throw them in a mix and use them for recording, they're gonna sound incredible. But we know that the vast majority of our viewers at least are probably gonna be looking at these things for live applications, utilizing them as worship leaders or playing acoustic in whatever capacity, obviously. So we're gonna show you this thing plugged in, the Sable plugged in as well. McPherson utilizes LR bags pickups. You can choose some things, both of our carbon fibers have the Anthem SL. So you're gonna get a piezo and the microphone in there. You only have one control. We blended in a little bit of the microphone too. The piezo really is for more of the darker stuff. That's where it shines best. And the microphone's blended in a little bit to kind of give you more of that pristine clarity. We're hoping you hear that between both of these clips. I want to say a huge thank you to McPherson. We've been working together for years now. We love their guitars. Thanks for letting us check out these uh, new Carbon guitars. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want more information on these guitars from McPherson, links are below. See you in the next one. Bye.